So yesterday, Osama bin Laden moved in on Oprah country. Osama bin Laden came out with book recommendations. Did you hear about this? In this, he came out with book recommendations. Apparently, Osama bin Laden, the big guy, does read even by candlelight in the cave. And on his must-read list of three books, one of the three books is Jimmy Carter's. One of the three books that Osama bin Laden recommends Americans read and people around the world read is written by former President James Earl Carter, the peanut farmer, the carpenter, the foreign policy hemorrhoid. Jimmy Carter is a, is a nation's hemorrhoid, folks, and we don't have a tube of Prep H big enough to deal with it. He's an anti-Semite, oh, anti-Israel, pro-Palestinian Jimmy Carter. The national hemorrhoid. But wait, there is more to this story. There was not one piece of book news yesterday. There were two. Osama bin Laden recommended Jimmy Carter's book. And my friend Mark Levin's book, Liberty and Tyranny, hit the one million seller list. It has yet to be reviewed by the New York Times or the Washington Post or Time Magazine or Newsweek or any of that. Which story here do you think made the news pages of the New York Times? If you have to guess, shame on you. The New York Times featured Osama bin Laden and his book recommendations.